Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 13. In the three and twentieth year of Yoash, the son of Ahaz Yahu, king of Yahuda, Yahu Ahaz, the son of Yahu, began to reign over Yashadael in Shomeron, and reigned seventeen years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and followed the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, which made Eth Yashadael to sin. He departed not from them. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yashadael, and he delivered them into the hand of Chazael, king of Aram, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Chazael, all their days. And Yahu Ahaz besought Yahuwah, and Yahuwah hearkened death unto him, for he saw eth the oppression of Yashadael, because the king of Aram oppressed them. And Yahuwah gave Yashadael a savior, so that they went out from under the hand of the Aramim. And the children of Yashadael dwelt in their tents as before time. Nevertheless, they departed not from the sins of the house of Yaravam, who made at Yashadael sin, but walked therein, and there remained Asherah also in Shomoron. Neither did he leave of the people to Yahu Ahaz but fifty horsemen, and ten chariots, and ten thousand footmen, for the king of Aram had destroyed them, and had made them like the dust by threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Yahu Ahaz, and all that he did, and his might, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? And Yahu Ahaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Shomoron, and Yoash his son reigned in his stead. In the thirty and seventh year of Yoash, king of Yahuda, began Yahuash, the son of Yahu Ahaz, to reign over Yashadael in Shomoron, and reigned sixteen years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah. He departed not from all the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made at Yashadael sin, but he walked therein. And the rest of the acts of Yoash, and all that he did, and his might wherewith he fought against Amatz Yahu, king of Yahuda, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? And Yoash slept with his fathers, and Yaravam sat upon his throne. And Yoash was buried in Shomoron with the kings of Yashadael. Now Elisha was fallen sick of at his sickness, whereof he died. And Yoash, the king of Yashadael, came down unto him, and wept over his face, and said, O oh, my father, my father! the chariot of Yashadael, and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Yashadael, Put your hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it, then Elisha said, Shoot! And he shot, and he said, The arrows of Yahuwah's deliverance, and the arrow of deliverance from Aram, for you shall smite at the Aramim in Ephech, till you have consumed them. And he said, Take the arrows. And he took them, and he said unto the king of Yashadael, Smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice and stayed. 
And the man of Elohim was wroth with him and said, You should have smitten five or six times. Then had you smitten Eth Aram till you had consumed it. Whereas now you shall smite Eth Aram but thrice. And Elisha died and they buried him. And the bands of Moavim invaded the land at the coming in of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that, behold, they spied at the band of men, and they cast at the man into the sepulcher of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood up on his feet. But Hazael, king of Aram, oppressed at Yashar'el all the days of Yahu Ahaz. And Yahuwah was gracious unto them, and had compassion on them, and had respect unto them, because of his covenant with Eth Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and would not destroy them, neither cast he them from his presence as yet. So Chazael, king of Aram, died, and Bain Hadad, his son, reigned in his stead. And Yahuwah Ash, the son of Yahuwah Ahaz, took Eth again out of the hand of Bain Hadad, the son of Chazael, the cities, which he had taken out of the hand of Yahu Ahaz, his father, by war. Three times did Yoash beat him, and recovered Eth the cities of Yashadael.